Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can read IDOC data. So first we will go to WE02. Okay, so let's go. And we'll use this. Okay, let's go. We'll go to WE02. And here, this is the transaction code to check IDOCs. Okay. And if you go, if I go here, and if I click on one of this IDOC, okay, so this is the IDOC. And here you can see this is the data record, and it's not so friendly to check all these data. Okay, how will you know? So this is the way the IDOC is situated. Now, how you can check what is inside an IDOC? Okay, so in ABAP, in an ABAP program, this is the function module you have to call IDOC read completely. Okay, this is the function module you have to call, and here I am hard coding the number, and we'll just execute. And, and we'll execute here and I can show you the in the debug how it is so if you see here I have the status records so if you notice this is the data record and here is the status records and here you will see all the status records is here so if I double click on it I get the status records okay so eventually it will come um, so and then you have the data record that will come also so here you can see the status record and everything and the information is there okay now if you want to see the data record here you double click and I'll just change it to here and if you double click on it here you get the status record. so in this way in the data record in this way you can fetch the details of an item so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share it, subscribe to it because there's something new every day to learn. And thank you and have a great day.